Bitch, slow down, girl. <laughs> slow down. <laughs> Woo, nobody cleans that fast. You're gonna miss Hey, I'm Laura Spaulding with Spaulding Decon. I clean up crime scenes, and today I'm gonna play Serial Cleaners. In serial Cleaners, you are a crime scene cleaner, but for the mob. The job is to get rid of bodies, blood, and other evidence before the feds arrive. It's like what I do, with stealth and strategy added. Let's give it a go. Pay attention to the line symbol on the blood bar to see how much more blood you need to dispose of. Keep in mind that some action cleaners take may result in spilling more blood. Not if you do it right. All right. Looks like this blood has luminol on it. It's all lit up for me. I'm vacuuming like a boss. Bless this mess. Oh, bless it, all right. Party time. All right. Back in action. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of blood. He's been sitting there a while. Ooh, that's a lot of blood, too. Drug deal gone bad. Ooh, buddy. We got three dead bodies so far. In New York City. It's cleaning time. Cleaning time. I bet this pays a lot better than what we get paid. You know, I had a bloody very bloody scenario recently. It's been in the last three or four months. It was a suicide in an attic with a shotgun. And why this job was super cool was because when I walked up to the second floor, it looked like the shining, the blood was dripping down the drywall. And it was unbelievable to see because you're like, what horror is in that attic? to make that blood just drip down like The Shining. And then when I went up in the attic, it was, the body was still there. His brains, eyeball and stuff was stuck into the blown in, uh, not the blown in insulation, that uh, foam insulation. And uh, so we literally are taking like a sawzall to shave, shave it like a, like you're carving a turkey to get it out and there was just so much blood that it was literally just dripping through the house it was insane amount of blood and then in order to get him out they because it was a tight confined space in the attic they essentially bagged him and then just kind of dropped the bag to avoid spilling the blood throughout the rest of the house it was crazy amount of blood spread the scene well, at least they could have done is remove her so I can clean up. Uh-oh, the popo's here. The cops take the bodies, so to the corner, but they don't do the cleanup. So they don't do the cleanup because they consider it uh, personal property, damage to personal property. So it's up to the homeowner or the property owner to hire someone like myself to come in and clean it up. So. In this case, the family hired us to uh, clean it up and it was a gigantic uh, cleanup, as you can imagine, in an attic with raw wood, okay? And then dripping through the second floor, you got drywall, it penetrated the ductwork for the air conditioning, so it all had to be redone. It was a, it was a huge job. Oh, hurry up. Oh, there's a rat running through too. Now that's realistic. Oh man, the cops are totally coming. I gotta run. Oh, nope, get back under there. Hide, hide. There, I'm hiding and the cops are coming. They're getting close. Let's see if they find me. They get her body. Let's do it. All right. Oh, sh Oh man. Sorry. Sorry, man. Got my way. Oh. Dang it. Uh oh, the other cop's coming, so I'm gonna hide under this table. He doesn't see me, he's walking by. 
you know, when I was a cop once, this guy had this like uh, old early 90s model Chevy Silverado or uh, look, like the little Chevy pickup, not the huge one. And um, he literally showed up at the police department, backed his truck into one of the parking spaces in the parking lot, took out his driver's license, put it on the dash, and then put a note on the dash with his family's contact information, and then took a gun as blew his brains out. Right in the parking lot. Like, wow. Yeah, it was. And then when I walked out, all I could see was splat on the window, the driver's side window, and his head just kind of leaning like that. And you knew right away, you could see the brains and all the blood and stuff. You opened up the door and his body just slumps out and everything, all the blood just drains out. It was an insane amount of blood. Okay, he closed the door. Go. Run. Oh, sh Damn it. Where is everybody that's supposed to be helping me? As usual, I'm doing everything by myself. Now I'm making some way. I'm getting the hang of this. Getting the hang of it. All right, let's dispose. BAM! All right, I dropped it. All right, he's on a donut run. No offense to cops, by the way, because I was one, but I do love donuts, just saying. Okay, so this dude is predictable as all right, but the problem is, is that I'm trying to get the evidence here. What's that key? Where is he at? Oh, he's in that room. Okay. Is he coming out? Yeah, with cops walking around with their in their hands. Yeah, there's always blood drag marks and it's always by the uh, body transport people because they're, they're trying to bag them and they're so bloody and decomp and all that that uh, the drag marks are the real deal. I have to blow to get this. All right, noise. There we go. All right. Oh, now his is coming. What if I throw it at him? Can I do that? Throw it! Yes! Matt! All right. The rats, that's super realistic, you know, because it looks like this is like a dungeon or something. And, um, you're, uh, you're having to, uh, put the bodies. It looks like they have a incinerator set up. And, you know, I think most of these, uh, mobs have like legitimate businesses because that's how they funnel their, um, their, um, crimes through there. We did a, a couple of murders where they made the media, you know, um, some in North Tam New Tampa area, and uh, most of them are like murder suicides. So yeah, kind of boyfriend, girlfriend type thing, kill her, kill himself, and uh, then you have, you know, multiple victims there. So those are, those are rough. Most murders, are in either outside or in low income housing where they don't even pay for the cleanup. So for us to see it, it's a it's a murder suicide typically. Knees to chest. Let's go. Quick. There you go. Come on. You gotta run faster. All right. Come on. Come on. All right. We're disposing this one here now. Drop that That's what I'm talking about. If you want to experience what it's like to be a crime scene cleaner, hit the link in our bio and download Serial Cleaners today so you can clean crime scenes just like me.